So welcome back to this tutorial as we have been discussing about the JDBC and this tutorial we are going to talk about what is JDBC. So I have listed few definitions in this slide. So we'll try to understand in terms each definition and the its meaning. So the first definition says JDBC is a step-by-step -step procedure to interact with the database from Java application in order to perform database operation. So here we could term JDBC as a procedure, step-by-step -step procedure, which actually helps us to interact with the database from our Java application and we could perform the required database operation. So normally we actually perform the DML, DDL operation that is data manipulation language, data definition language operations. Moving to the second definition, second definition says it is a technology, JDBC is a technology. With the help of this technology, we could connect to the database from our Java application to perform the database operation. So normally we perform the database operations kind of manipulations, deleting, inserting, creating, all these kinds of different operation. And the third definition, which is more technical, which is saying JDBC is an API application program interface nothing but the collection of interfaces and classes so with the help of this api we actually get the good environment to interact with the database from our java application and so we could actually perform the database operation so this third definition is clearly saying it is an api which is providing good environment with the help of this good environment we could actually communicate with the database and we could perform required operations so now let's try to understand how this JDBC is going to help us to interact from Java application to the database so we know that in the previous video we have seen the database engine actually receives the SQL query and it actually passes the query is passes through the four different phases so what four different phases namely query tokenization query passing query optimization and query execution so this task is done on the database side but now in this situation we are having java application also so now my task is to communicate from java application to the database so we need something in between java application and database so we could actually communicate with the database so java has provided the apis so from the java application side we are having java api and the database is also having its own query apis okay that is query language apis now the task is over here we are having database logic written in the Java program that is a, in the Java application. So this database logic is in the Java representation and database is unable to understand the Java representation. Database only understand the query language representation. So the layer query language API actually understand the query language representation now here is a big question mark which actually saying how this problem could be solved on the left hand side i am having java representation which can which is not understood by the database and the database only knows the query representation query language representation which is uh, not produced by the java application so we need something that converts java representation into the query language representation so java has given the answer to this question as a driver so with the help of driver i can convert my java representation into the query language representation which is understood by the database now my problem is solved so with the help of driver the data uh, whatever the java application has written database logic 
that logic could be communicated to the database and database can perform the some operation as the database logic is written in the java application and the required output will be provided provided back to the java application so these arrows are actually showing the flow of execution so java representation is taken by the driver then java representation is converted into the query language re representation which is then forward to the database because database understand the query representation after receiving the query representation database perform the required operation and return the result in the query representation back to the driver now driver receives this query representation from the database and again it converts into the java representation because java application only understand the java representation now this java representation is received by the java application and the results will be displayed to the user so what different types of drivers are there so namely there are four drivers type 1 type 2 type 3 and type 4 so we are going to discuss all these drivers in detail in subsequent video